have a studio called Stefan Marsh Mastering. And as a mastering guy, I'm, I'm really not going to be going to headphones on a daily basis. But where they do come into play in my world every single day is uh, in the mixing environment. And there's no end to the number of mixes that I get where people come in and they absolutely adore their mixes. They love what they're hearing because they're listening to it on a pair of headphones that's souping up the bottom and hyping out the top and shoving the mids forward and they can hear the vocal and all the stereo effects are really big and happy and it sounds great on those headphones in that environment, that in that world. But my job is to make it sound great everywhere and to take that experience and translate it to the public. What can I do? Can I recommend that they go buy a $6,000 set of speakers to just check things out? No, I can't. But a pair of headphones that gives you a really honest representation of what's going on, they can be invaluable. And to have a second set of monitors at, at, at really the lowest cost point you're going to find in terms of getting a set of monitors, and that's the way you really have to look at it. It's not headphones. They're monitors that you strap on your head. It's a different animal. And I mean, it's a, it takes a lot of technology to get a little tiny speaker like that to sound like what's what's on the wall or what's hanging on a set of speaker stands. It's not it's not simple to do and a lot of people get it wrong. Most headphones just don't have the driver power to give you any um so you can't use them in a recording environment. You can't get them loud enough to compete when you're tracking or when you're recording with a band. Uh, these go plenty loud and they don't they don't start to break up and fall apart. So if you're quiet or you're medium or you're loud, they sound pretty consistent across the board. A headphone you can trust, it's almost invaluable. Almost invaluable. And it's probably the cheapest thing you'll buy for your studio. Most headphones make you happy. These headphones might make you sad if your mixes aren't good. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what I want my clients to have. I want my clients to get sad if their mixes aren't good. I don't want to be fooled into thinking they're great. And then I got to come in and break their hearts. The bottom line is what we do is about music. and. If you have something that helps you get closer to what the artist's vision was and helps them understand exactly what they're doing to contribute to that vision or maybe not contribute to that vision in a mixing sense, you know, they're going to be a lot better off.